I think it's a mistake to use marketing funnels. Now, I used to use them myself, and I used them successfully. I taught the people how to do it. But the problem with marketing funnels is that, well, number one, most of the time it doesn't work. Number two, it takes a great lot of work. And what kind of work are you doing when you're creating a marketing funnel? You're creating a carefully contrived system of manipulating people through a process to get them to want to buy something. So there's a lot of problem with this. One is that you're assuming that the system will work, that you understand the psychology well enough to know if you send them this email and then they watch this and then they do this and they will want to buy that. So first of all, just practically speaking, you're already making some assumptions that you know the psychology well enough. And yes, you can tweak it and all that stuff. But the bigger problem is that it's not good for the heart. It's not good for the conscience because you know that you have an ulterior motive, that you are manipulating people into doing something that they themselves, if they knew they were part of a funnel, they wouldn't want to. So for those who are wondering what what is a funnel, it's like when you go to someone's website, you put your email address in to get some kind of free thing. It's a free video series or a free whatever it is. And then once you do that, you start getting email after email after email. Oh, buy this, final offer this, blah, blah, blah. But or educating you on something really designed for you to want to buy something later. So my my thought about it is let's stop the funnels. In fact, once I stop doing marketing funnels, my business improved. Yes, I stopped marketing funnels and my business improved. Why? Because I wasn't doing that kind of manipulative work anymore. My conscience was more clear. My creativity spiked. My creativity has gone up since then. My audience also felt that I was being more authentic and therefore, of course, trust is earned much more reasonably speaking. So instead of a funnel, what should we do? We should just create content from the heart and sell transparently. Okay, so I mean, the simplest thing is you can still have multiple multiple levels of offers. You can have free content, you can have low price offers, you can have higher priced offers. It's okay to have different tiers to serve people who are ready to work with you at different levels, but you're not selling them each thing in hopes that they will buy the next thing. That's where the funnels is really uh, makes people feel like they're being manipulated. And you, the business owner, also knows that you're, mani- you're manipulating other people. So instead of having this agenda, when you are giving free content, give free content from the heart. Try to be as helpful as you can within that boundary. Okay, And then when you are selling something, sell from the heart. Just say, hey, I'm, I'm excited about this online course I've got coming up. Or, hey, I'm really excited to tell you about the services that I offer. Just be transparent and tell people what you've got. Just sell it. That's it. If you have something that they want, they'll buy it. Isn't that amazing? (laughs) If you have something that they want and they've been consuming your free content and they trust you as a good person, they will buy it. It's quite simple. You don't need a marketing funnel. Got it? So don't have to make your marketing complex. Do it from the heart. Know that when you help people enough, People will spread the word about you, okay? And as more people consume your content and as you sell transparently, so create content from the heart. If it is helpful to people, word will spread. And then, of course, that means more people are consuming your content. And when you sell transparently, if it is right for them, they will buy. That's it. It's quite simple. My business has gone up year after year after year once I stopped doing the funnels and once I started being transparent and authentic about both my content and my selling. So I hope this is helpful. I'm George Cow, and uh, always open to your questions, your comments. Thank you for joining me for this video. Take care.